ladies and gentlemen, the auto poopy crimping machine. Let me just show you this bad boy. Here we go, one handed. Oh my goodness. That hurts. That hurts. Let me show you around inside this thing. This is probably one of my more dubious projects. So you have lots of cables to crimp. And you don't want to have to do it all manually because it's actually quite hard work. Here is the patented, I'm kidding, it's not patented, dubious engineering auto poopy crimpy machine. <laughs> it stands about a foot and a half tall <laughs> in a wooden box. It's powered by a linear actuator and a garden mower battery, which is made by McAllister. Thank you very much, B&Q, for probably one of the world's worst garden mowers. The battery's useful. Right, let me show you around this thing, see how it works. It's really been bodged together by myself. Ooh, I'll tell you what we will do. We'll just take the battery off the back. <laughs> Disarm it, there we go. Right, all the screws are out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what have we got in here? Well, let me show you. I've got it led down on the desk so we can talk about it a little easier. <laughs> you may recognize these. That is a pair of ratcheting crimpers. Now, I've modified them. Clearly, I've removed the handles. And I've also removed the ratchet system here as well. Uh, because <laughs> there was a point when I tried to do this and everything started to bend out of shape uh, when it started reversing. <laughs> um, but ultimately what we've got is we've got a, a rather large lump of steel at the bottom here. And then what we've got here is we have a an automatic, a window opener. It's a short throw window opener. It's one of these made in China jobs. It's 12 volts. And actually what is really quite good about this particular window opener, when you connect it to a 12 volt battery, or in my case, when you connect it to a 20 volt lithium ion pack, it goes all the way to the end of its travel and then it automatically stops. When you reverse the polarity, it then goes back to the other end of its travel and automatically stops. So what I did is I, attached the moving side of the handles to the linear actuator and then what I did was I attached the fixed side of the crimpers of the crimp handle to the steel plate. Now clearly the linear actuator is also attached to the steel plate up here. I'll show you all this doing its thing in a few seconds but I've put two bolts through here in order to make sure that that stays flat and parallel. Otherwise, you have a tendency for the crimp heads to be wandering around. Now, the electrics in this is dead simple. As I said, it's got auto stops at the end of travel, which really means that the electrics is dead simple. So what I've got here is I've got a dual pole, dual throw center off switch, DPDT center off. And all I've done is I've put the battery, da da da, I've connected the battery to the two center pins and then I've reversed the polarity from one set to the other so that when they connect up to the motor, when you switch the switch in one direction versus the other direction, it reverses the motor. So on this side of the auto poopy crimpy device is one of my battery snap connectors and that just accommodates the McAllister battery there. I make loads of those things. And in fact, if I'm completely honest with you, that's what, that's the reason why I need these. I was doing 20 of these a day and my hand hurts. All right, here we go. Let me show you this system in action. There we go, got to the end. And back, fantastic. And that is much easier, trust me, much easier than doing all of these by hand. Right, let me show you how hard it is to crimp one of these cables by hand. Cable pre-cut to length, 
And then here we've got a cable stripper. There you go. That's quite quite good. One quick little action. And what I tend to do is I double up the copper core. Uh, and in fact, these cables here are about one and a half mil. So this gets us to about three mil, which is perfect for these little crimps here. And you just place the crimps over the copper like that and you get used to it you, you figure it you figure it all out eventually so we've prepared our cable we've got the crimps on the end of it and now we're going to crimp it by hand with a silver line ratcheting crimp tool so what we do is we get it in there get it in the hole so to speak said so the actress to the bishop straight away you can see i'm going with the two-hand approach all right here we go one-handed oh my goodness that hurts that hurts and that is why i have built this why does one want Ooh, get me fingers get me fingers away from the jaws there are commercial versions of this available, but they're all powered by air, which means you have to have shop air, which means you have to run an air compressor, get a tank, get a hose, connect everything up. And yeah, they're a little bit faster, but I mean, you know, this does exactly what it says on the tin. So let's have a quick look at the technical specs of the window actuator. So first off, my apologies the uh, paperwork's a little bit old and decrepit but um yeah i think this cost me about 35 40 pounds on ebay um i went for the 50 mil throw i think it was the eco 50 the eco worthy linear actuator um, and apparently the rated load on this is up to a thousand newtons travel speed 14 millimeters a second and uh, it's 12 volt rated but i'm clearly over 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 voltage there a little bit but uh and it says that its rated current is three amps and i tell you what this thing is very difficult to stop it's got an awful lot of power well it's got a thousand newtons of force which is really quite impressive and it's not too noisy but um but yeah that's pretty much it in a nutshell all right so that was us crimping things manually Let's go ahead and crimp things automatically. Press the button. Take a swig of tea. So one of these crimps has been manually crimped with my right hand, which hurt, and the other one has been automatically crimped by the auto poopy crimpy machine. And I'll tell you what, they are absolutely both spot on. Good, consistent work. Well done, Howard. Quite clearly, <laughs> zero points for some of the world's worst woodwork. <laughs> it was quite literally slapped together with spare bits of wood and crap that I had in the shed because I just needed it. But 10 out of 10 for labour saving here we go, let's crimp a few cables up. And there we have it, folks. Effortless crimping. As always, thanks ever so much for watching. 
take care have a fabulous weekend make sure you give us a good old thumbs up we'll see you in the next video subscribe if you haven't already cheers and beers people bye for now